I'm James Tour, and you can see my credentials at jmtour.com, but just so that you know something about who I am. I've published over 700 research publications, and in my field, that's kind of a big number. I've started uh, 14 companies, over 100,000 citations. With my H index, the Hirsch index is 150, over 150 patent families. That kind of builds up uh, who I am and my credentials. David Farina has released a video entitled Elucidating the Agenda of James Tour, A Defense of Abiogenesis. Even if we could make them, we have no idea how to assemble them. So that's James Tour, and as we will see, he is very emphatic about his rejection of abiogenesis as a feasible process. There were numerous gross scientific inaccuracies in Dave Farina's claims in, in his video. But he is even more emphatic about something else. Not only am I Christian, but I love Jesus tremendously. He is the best. He is everything to me. I am much more than just a Christian in name. Jesus Christ rose from the dead. He is the Son of God, and it's on that that I base my faith. So that should give you a better picture of the headspace he is coming from. So what I'm going to do in this series, give a full teaching on abiogenesis. I'm not going to mention God. I use pure science. The reasons for this video, the introduction, what is abiogenesis? How does that differ from evolution? The primordial soup and what's the layperson's understanding? Hype from origin of life researchers themselves. Homochirality. What does homochirality mean? A carbohydrates, important class of compounds. The building blocks of building blocks. Peptides. The nucleotides, then we'll have some intermediate summary so we can assess where we've come from. And then we'll talk about lipids and the cell membrane, chiral induced spin selectivity, constructing a cell and the assembly prop pull together all the lectures into one big summary. There were numerous scientific inaccuracies in every slide. No understanding of biochemistry. This word that I highlighted, biochemistry. Abiogenesis has nothing to do with biochemistry. It is before biology, it is pre-biology. There's no biochemistry happening. Abiogenesis is strictly chemistry. Any molecule or object has a mirror image. Most objects are like that. There are other objects that have non-superposable mirror images, like my left and my right hand. If I put my left hand up to a mirror, the two images are non-superposable. That's why I can't put my left hand in my right-handed glove. It doesn't fit right. The vast majority of biological molecules are like that, which makes it difficult to synthesize. Where do origin of life researchers get their chemicals for their stereo scrambled syntheses? They don't make them. The gases, they all have conveniently separated into individual cylinders. How convenient. Where did early earth get its chemicals for homochiral synthesis? Right there. They're all right there. Go, go on out there and find them. We don't have any stores of chemicals and gases. Just go out and find them. But prebiotic earth didn't have that luxury. All the gases were mixed together. The other thing is, do molecules decompose? You bet they do. I will cite papers on that. So for simple chemicals on the early earth to become a cell, they both have to go to low entropy, a very, very improbable state, and they have to absorb energy from the environment. That's a physical impossibility that never, ever happens in the universe. So literature methods were used to make several of his, his precursors, but let's just take one of them. It wasn't even described in those 90 pages. Well, so you go to the supplemental of this reference and you find 105 pages, 105 pages, in addition to those other 90 pages of those sort of little procedures all referenced out. Here's what they had to go through to make this compound plus nine more pages of characterization data. In this paper, they didn't start from something that you can buy. You had to make this. Here's the article, and there is that compound, and that compound conveniently goes back to D-glucose. Ah, well, did they make D-glucose? No, they took it from nature. And these are using advanced synthetic methods, not a prebiotic earth method. Molecules don't care about life. Organisms care about life. Chemistry, on the contrary, is utterly indifferent to life. Without a biologically derived entity acting upon them, like a human being, molecules have never been shown to evolve toward life. Never. Look, some people are gonna love this video. Other people are gonna say, this is the perfect cure for insomnia. I understand that. I just want you to feel my pain when people suggest we understand how to do this. All right? All right, you are a ghost.